So this hair was for my first day of work. I was starting a new job and I was like, mm, of course, who, who doesn't want to start a new job and uh, feel like black? You want to feel cute, right? Me too. So anyway, I did these curls that I just love so much. Um, yeah. So the shows me washing my hair um conditioning it and then of course the rinse process in between i do plan on doing like a wash day routine um coming up so that everyone can see what i do how i do um, my steps which change depending on what i'm trying to achieve or the state of my hair but anywho that is in the works um but yeah, so this was just a little sneak peek at it. And I do show this little trick that I do, which is just using a t-shirt to dry my hair after uh, it's shampooed and conditioned. I choose a t-shirt versus a towel because with a towel, it's like it kind of is spotty with absorbing the water throughout your hair and then it absorbs more. Whereas a t-shirt is like more smooth. It's not pulling all the water and drying my hair out. So it's a good way to wrap it up. I don't have to worry about it dripping and leaking all over the place as much um, and then drying my hair out. And I just use a little clip to make it stay in place. I know y'all loving my, my blue polo shirt I'm rocking right here. That was my volunteer shirt when I was volunteering at Children's Hospital, trying to get my hospital experience up. I just knew when I came out of school, I was going to be a labor and delivery nurse or a pediatric nurse. <laughs> Straight ER. So here I am just sectioning my hair. You're gonna see me use my fingers. I always like pretty much use my fingers to separate my hair and finger detangle. Um, I avoid using the comb in the very beginning because that's how you end up pulling out a lot of your hair, trying to struggle just to get through it. But if you break it down and work in sections, it's a lot easier to manage and comb by, at that point. Um, and of course, using those handy dandy clips keeps it in place. And then like with these type of clips, I don't really have to worry about them breaking on me. Like they hold my hair pretty well. And I mean, as y'all can see, I have a lot of hair. It's very thick. So those clips keep it in place while I'm trying to uh, style it and manipulate it. And of course, you see my little tie ribs that's my baby cake child i just love him i'm talking about like i just light up when i see him So now you see me applying shower caps to my hair. This is a hair that I am not currently working on. I apply a shower cap so my hair doesn't dry out while I'm styling a particular section. Um, this has helped me a lot. Like when some people ask about like moisture, to me maintaining moisture in your hair is not just uh one answer fix it all is over time like learning little tips and tricks to maintain moisture and for me this helps me so that my hair now i still might go and reapply some water when i get to the sections but to me it's like it, it maintains a little bit of that moisture still there from whenever i washed and conditioned my hair whenever i put the shower caps 
So boop tip for you for free ninety nine, baby. And see, this is why you have to stay with your girl. You know, I got tips for y'all. Tips. You want some hand down your back? I got tips for you. Okay? Turn your audio on, baby. I am live. It's lit, baby. And another thing is, by working in sections, you guys, like, it just makes it more manageable. Like, I think that for some naturals, it's like, we just get so overwhelmed so quick. It's like, oh, my God, what do I do with all this hair? But it's like, whew, take a woo moment, calm down, separate your hair get you some clips clip it in some sections and then just take it one little section at a time so now you see me about to apply my large perm rods um this is the green ones um so i start of course at the end roll the hair up and then um secure it on the end um and then you're gonna see me like roll it back down a little and twist it and that twist just secures it and straightens my roots a little bit more so that it's not so puffy at the root and notice how by spraying initially the leave-in conditioner all over and then spraying the section with the lot of body satin uh, lotion it makes it easier so that when i'm going through my hair to actually roll it i'm only applying the conditioning cream to actually be my styling product but it just makes it easy i don't have to go piece by piece adding products each or a bunch of products each time i'm just adding one additional product so little things little ways to save time because lord knows natural hair can have you in the mirror for like literally all day mm. So here you see I'm using a different brush other than my detangling brush. This is like that hard multi-bristle brush. I don't know the technical name and I'm not looking it up right now. But it's more like one of them brushes for ponytails. Like, you know, back in the day when your mom used to make sure your ponytail was nice and smooth and use that hard brush. One of those. Now this one just had like different levels for like the little prong thing sticking out. It had different levels. So like the pink part stuck out more than the black ones in it. But you know, so I think the whole point of the brush was to really smooth the hair down and make sure you catch it on all levels. Um, I don't know how I feel about like me trying to brush it through uh, each piece that I'm trying to roll I think my goal was that I wanted um the section to be smooth especially since I knew like this these were going to be more loose or big curls and not like tight curls so I wanted to make sure they were smooth but you know you don't want to compromise your hair the integrity of your hair for a hairstyle you know what I mean but you see I just went back to my detangling brush and then I moved on to trying a rat tail comb. Like, this was a, definitely a, a trial and error hairstyle. I had never, like, did this, like, wet hair with big perm rods. So I was, def I was just trying to see what worked. So now the first section is complete and you see me moving on to finger detangle and separate the second section. In total, I had three sections um, in the back and then one section across the front. So four sections in total. And notice with this back middle section, I had to split it in half because that was just way too much hair to handle all at one time. So. And number one rule when combing out hair is to start from the bottom and work your way up. Starting from the root child, you know how much hair is going to get pulled out of your head just from working from the root to the ends. No, start at the ends, work your way up. That way you're not just pulling unnecessary hair out. Let's keep the strands. Y'all know natural hair and the shrinkage is real. We want to keep all of the strands okay start from them ends and gently work your way up 
So my back sections are all rolled and I'm moving on to the front. So if you notice, when I go to uh, place the hair on the roller, I put the hair on the roller and then wrap it around so that the hair that is like coming over the hair that's there holds it in place, if that makes any sense. So my ends are tucked under the rolled hair. And that way I don't have to worry about it coming out the hair stays smooth from the roots all the way down to the ends, or the root down to the ends. <laughs> As you can see, sometimes the little end pieces on the perm rods pop off, and it's really aggravating and disgusting. I would, if somebody in the world could fix this, that would be great. But, you know, I mean, shoot, you buy and buy under $5. What else can you expect? So, But all I do is basically... Use one hand to keep the roller in place, and then my free hand, I reattach it back on there. And it's just a simply sliding a little plastic part back through the spot where it came from, and it just comes back on most of the time. Another FYI is whenever you go to attach the end of the little perm rod to the other end basically make sure that little rubber plastic part is near the root of your hair because that's what's really like holding the roller to your head so whenever you're applying it make sure you bring it down so it's close to the roots or your edges and that way like frizz and puffy roots can also be avoided So if you notice, there's some orange rollers that have magically popped up in here with the green ones. What happened was, when I was under the hair dryer, which I dried for like hour and a half or so. But when I was under the hair dryer, I was trying to like see was the hair drying, was it not? And I felt like it wasn't drying fast enough and I really, I had to go to work that day. So I have time to be playing the games. So what I did was some of them I separated and I had ran out of green and needed some more. So I just went for orange, which was the closest size to the green that I had available at the time. So that is why you see some orange rollers magically appear. <laughs> And here's the final look. I like loved how it came out. I was very surprised. I was very worried, especially considering it was my first day. I had some family like, you should straighten your hair. You want to make a good impression. All that bull crap. I was very satisfied with the result. Like watching this video back, I'm like still so in love with it. Like it makes me want to go wash my hair and do it again, you know? 
but I hope that you have learned something. Um, if there's any videos you would like to see, let me know. I will definitely post it for you all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead, tap the subscribe button. If you want to see more, turn your notifications on, but definitely hit that subscribe button so that we can stay connected.